What's the best advice I can give you if you were starting now in 2024? I think the best advice always is to create art that means something to you. Now that could be portraits, or it could be flowers, it could be birds, it could be manga cartoons, it could be completely abstract pieces, just, just experiments in geometric patterns or playing with light and shade and texture. And there, there are so many ways you can create interesting things with glass. I would encourage you to follow your own passion for glass in whichever direction that takes you and you will find an audience for it. Be patient. That's one of the biggest things is to be patient. I think we all now live in this world where we want to see results straight away. If we make a TikTok video or a YouTube posting or an Instagram posting, we expect to see some kind of reaction instantly, you know, that the world affirms what you're doing or in some way responds to what you're doing. Very often the world will not respond to what you're doing because the world is just not aware of you. And you have to make yourself known to that world in in ways that I think is increasingly dependent on things like social media. You know, I'm of an age where I remember life before social media. I remember life existing perfectly well without mobile phones. And of course, mobile phones now, the whole revolution of this digital technology has allowed us to do so much more, so much more. That's just incredible. I, I'm still amazed that we can do that. So using technology and using social media, and you, you don't necessarily have to put yourself in front of the camera to do it. You know, you can still show your work without showing yourself. But it's, ba it's basically <laughs> showing up, turning up in some capacity, whether it's just through being represented by your work or representing yourself in front of camera. I think it's really important to be able to do that and to be able to connect with your audience. And it takes time. It really, really does take time. It's not something that happens in instantly. But posting regularly and being committed to just putting your work out there, you will find your tribe. You will find your audience. Now, how do you monetize that? Well, there are different ways to monetize your art. One of the ways is to sell online. It's very easy to put a little shop together online uh, and there are infinite number of tutorials and YouTube videos telling you how to do that and giving you lots of different reviews on platforms that you can put your work on. The other alternative is to find a gallery. That is a system which does continue to work for a lot of artists, but there are many, many more artists for whom going down the gallery route just doesn't work. And remember, galleries take about 30%, if not more, commission in selling your work. So you really don't earn very much in the early years from exhibiting in galleries. You might get some footfall and you might it might be a nice ego trip to see you work hung up on a gallery wall for a week or for two weeks. But if you're not really selling very much, or the work that you are selling, you're only getting 70% of the value of that. I do wonder whether it is worth it in 2024 to pursue galleries to any great extent when it is so much less expensive and potentially much more lucrative to find your audience online. Now, I'm not about to tell you how to do that. I think it's something that you have to find your own way in. But I would encourage you, if you are thinking of doing stained glass, if you are a creative and you're interested in experimenting in how to make your artwork in glass using stained glass as a medium, do it. Experiment. Watch videos, tutorials on how it's done and start doing it for yourself. And post online and post in social medias and find your tribe and slowly, slowly, you will develop a following, you will develop an audience, and you will develop a group of people who appreciate what you do, and the word gets spread from there. So that's the starting point. Lots more to tell you, but enjoy the journey. That's the most important thing.